What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Well, guess what guys? We have officially reached the dog days of summer. Now, actually it's probably been that way for a couple weeks now, but we've had temperatures continuously reaching that 100 degree mark probably for about a week to eight, nine, 10 days in a row. It's the end of August right now. And we're gonna see if we can't get on some crappie today. I got the boat in the water right here ready to go. You know what guys, something that I wanna put a lot of attention on today is, I believe, I haven't been out on the lake in over a week, so I don't know exactly what the surface temperature is right now, but I would say the surface temperature is at least 90 to 91 degrees. By the time we get off today, I'm gonna check back on that temperature and see exactly what it is. But something I wanna say is, these crappie do not go as deep in the summertime as what people think. Now, today I'm gonna stay in that 15 to 18 feet range, okay? With a surface temperature of 90 degrees, of course, as you go deeper in that water column, you know, the cooler it could be. But these crappie don't go as deep as what a lot of people think. Now, some crappie do go 25 plus feet deep in the summertime, but we're gonna stay in that 15 to 18 foot range and we're gonna see what is there and more importantly, if these crappie will bite today. I do appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. If you have it, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Come join the 903 Fishing Family. If you wanna learn more about crappie fishing, but not just learn about crappie fishing, you wanna learn these different types of tips and techniques to catch these crappie year round, hit that subscribe button, come join the family. If you already are a part of the 903 Fishing Family, Thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. Means the world to me. Thank you so much. Would not be doing this without you. But I'm about to hop on the boat right here and we're gonna go to our first spot. Y'all stay tuned. All right, family, we're to our first spot. And I'm gonna flip this camera around so y'all can see what the water temperature is. Check this out right here. The water temperature is 90.9 at 7.09 a.m. I said I would stick to the 15 to 18 foot range. We're in 16.6 .6 feet of water and our brush pile is marked right over here. So we're gonna see if there's any fish on it. When I went over it on the down scan up front, there did appear to be fish on that brush pile so we're about to get to fishing y'all stay tuned all right guys well you know like i said the whole purpose in this video is going to be to show you to prove to you that these crappie even though that water temperature it's 7 a.m and it's at 91 degrees basically you know i'm just going to prove to you guys today that not all crappie go that deep hopefully we can catch some off of this pile right here and we're gonna see if they're active. That's the, that's the question. Like I said, it did look like there was fish on the brush top. Are they going to bite this morning is the even bigger question. Uh oh, okay. Man, uh, you know what guys? It, it had been a couple of casts and didn't get bit, but check that out. And you know what? I was starting to wonder if they were gonna bite or not. And guess what? First fish of the morning, is a solid 12 incher good crappie for late august right here guys i mean still got some meat on and we are going to keep a few fish today we're going to see i just want to see how many we can put in that cooler in late august a lot of people have a lot of trouble catching crappie in august but hopefully this video helps you out on where you need to be targeting these crappie in late august into september There he is. All right, that took a, a little second. What's he looking like? Okay, that's gonna be a keeper fish. That's gonna be our second keeper off of this pile, guys. Pretty sure that's gonna keep. I'm gonna get my, my checker out just to make sure on him. That right there is probably 11 incher. Oh yeah. He's actually uh, 10 and a half. But you know what? Let's keep a crappie. God, don't get 
that's gonna be a keeper. He didn't want to go in there, but he's in there, baby. Let's go see if we can catch another one. Looks like that buoy marker over there is pretty darn accurate. And if you haven't seen my video on how important these buoy markers are to crappie fishing, I would highly suggest to go see that video. I'm gonna link it at the end of this video, the very end. So be sure to go check that out. Oh, there he is. Okay. Man. Uh-oh. Where's that good one? And it is. Oh, that's a good fish. Man, guys. it Oh, that's a good fish. I'm telling you guys, it took a while between that second and third crappie. But bam. Oh, he swallowed that joker too, boy. That's a good looking fish. Really good looking fish. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. All right. There's three. We got three off the pile. I honestly thought about moving, but I'm going to stick her out and see if we can't pull some more off here. We got three off the pile, baby. Let's see if we can go for four. I'm telling you guys, I'm not really expecting just to catch a whole lot of fish today. Now, if it happens, great. But I'm not really expecting it just because of the surface tent being so high. We actually had a full moon. On Good gosh. Well, maybe they want to bite. Hey, there's a little black crappie. Don't think he's going to make the cut. I don't think so. Ah, we can check him, but I don't think he's going to make it. If you're new to the channel, guys, I am in Texas. And these crappie got to be 10 inches in the state of Texas to keep them. We're looking for 10 inches, and we have just short of 10 and i mean when i say just short of 10 look at that guys he probably would be right at 10 but no sir got to throw that back well there's the first non-keep fish off of the pile three keepers and then a non-keeper so and what's crazy is guys i had been throwing in that same spot area when I first got here for a little bit and no bites, maybe they'll start really biting. I mean, it, it, good gosh, there he is. That's back to back cast now. I don't think that's a keeper. It's probably gonna be, that's another cookie cutter right there. He looks a little bigger actually. Don't think it's gonna be a keep. He does look a little bigger. What do we got? Hey guys, we got 10 and a half. Dang near 10 and a half. Look at there. Just shy of 10 and a half. Let's go. That's a keeper all day. Good little summer crappie. There's four in the cooler. Hey guys, that's three cast, three fish. See, that's the thing, guys. Yeah, that's the hardest part about brush pile fishing is when to move. When do I move when I'm not getting bit? Do I wait it out to see if they'll start biting? How long is it gonna take? That is the hardest part about brush pile fishing right there. Let's go get another one. Yep, that one was just a little bit bigger. Almost 10 and a half, so keep that. Can we go four for four on the pile? I don't think we can go four for four, guys. Oh my gosh. We can. Oh, oh, I didn't think we'd go four for four. Ah, it's another cookie cutter. Oh, might be a keeper, actually. Come on, black crappie, you're killing me. I actually do. I haven't kept fish the past couple times I've been out, so. What's it looking like? Hey, guys, ten and a half right there this one's actually bigger than that last one let's go man well, when i first got here i didn't expect to have five in the cooler already but been here for about 20 minutes five in the cooler done throwing one back so let's keep going well caught a lot of fish really quick and then they just shut off i guess that's 
that's pretty typical right there for the summer baby but if i do go 15 20 minutes without a bite then it's just time it's just time to move all right family well got five in the cooler from that first spot guess what we're going to go to our second spot i actually this spot that we're going to is in about 15 15 and a half feet of water so let's go see if these crappie are there surface temperature right now is up to 91.3 91.3 and when we get to the next spot, I'm also going to go over our setup. Y'all stay tuned. All right, family. Well, we're to our next spot. And right now, the back of the boat is in 15.8 feet of water. I actually believe the actual brush top is going to be closer to 15 feet. But I wanted to go over our, the setup today. And if you've been watching the channel, you already know. Eight foot ACC crappie sticks. Super grip handle. Guys, a lot of people ask me, why do you choose ACC? Why do you use ACC? And without a doubt, best crappie rod that I've ever held in my hands right here. Not just this particular model, but the, you know, the, the ACCs in general. Great rods for any type of crappie fishing out there. And then I also have the Viper X 1000 from PC Fun. Y'all be sure to go to PCFun.com. Use code 903FISH15 to save you 15% off of your order. And this is our weapon of choice today for these crappie. And it's going to put some fish in the boat for you. So let's go see what this second brush top does for us. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, guys. Look at that. Check that out. This is what we want. I think that camera is right in the sun, but look at that crappie right there, guys. Solid 13 incher probably in the summertime. Good healthy back too for, you know, for what we're doing here. I love it. Look at that fish, look at that mouth on that crappie. Let's go, baby. Hey guys, that's six. Let's go get another one. Oh guys, look at this crappie right here. It's a good one. It's decent. I mean, that's that right there. Y'all see that eight foot ACC crappie sticks? Just sling that crappie right in the boat. You know, that's not as big as that last one. Not as big as the last crappie, but that right there is a good fish. We'll take this all day right here, guys. Look at that. Get a little back on that fish right there. Nothing wrong with this summertime crappie right here, baby. Let's go catch some more. Also, a lot of people have been asking me lately, I guess since I've been fishing with minnows so much, what type of hook am I using? Guys, this is the Eagle Claw Aberdeen 2 aught panfish hook right here. You can get them at Walmart. You get 40 of them for about $5. They last me a good little bit. That's why I'm using this, this mono leader on this 10 pound braid right here is because, you know, this slip cork setup is great, guys. I'm gonna... You know, it's in the how-to playlist on the channel. A lot of people ask me how to rig it up. It's step-by-step. Step. I have this barrel swivel here with the mono leader to the 10-pound braid. 95% of the time, this leader breaks off, and all you have to re-rig is the mono leader with the hook. So you're not having to re-rig that whole slip cork setup. Let's go get another one. Oh my gosh, I'm not paying attention, guys. I'm looking at the trolling motor and look at that. I am not paying attention. Wow. I swear as soon as mm, mm, that hurt. As soon as I looked away, I looked at the trolling motor because there's no wind. So this trolling motor is kind of throwing me around everywhere today. Well, in this spot, but guess what? We got a 10. To almost 10 and a half inch black crappie right there guys let's go let's go baby all right family well this brush top right here is just full of bluegill i pulled out four keeper crappie from it really quick and then now it is nothing but bluegill i cannot find that depth that exactly where these crappie are so what we're going to do is we're going to go to one more spot for the day and we're going to see if we can't find some more crappie y'all stay tuned all right guys well third spot right here 
I'm thinking it's gonna be in my last spot. It's already getting hot out here. I've said it numerous times, finding crappie in the summer is not the problem. It's actually getting them to bite. That's the problem. So hopefully we can catch a few more off this spot right here. I'm hoping it's not all bluegill that, that I'm seeing down there. That's not a bluegill. That's not a bluegill. No, sir, it's not. It's a nice white crappie. Not a giant, but it's a keeper. Look at that. Okay. Not a giant, but that is going to be a keep. Let me put it on the measure real quick just so y'all can see. Oh, yeah, 11 incher. Oh, come on now. 11 incher in the tube. All right, well, there's one. I don't know. I still got that minnow. Let's throw it back out there. You're going to see if there's another one out there. This brush top is in about 16 feet of water. That 15 to 18 feet range, that is where I like to stay in the summertime. And a lot of people are surprised of the amount of crappie I do still catch in 15 to 18 feet of water. Now, since the bluegill are bothering me, I'm gonna go deeper on the side of the pile. This pile comes up really, really high. It's in 16 feet of water, but it comes up to about probably about seven feet or so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go deeper on the side of the pile. I don't wanna be right on top because I'm just gonna get hung up. There he is. I think that's a crappie it is doesn't look like a keeper well i'll be dog i don't know about that guys that might be a little ten and a half or so hold up hold up see look at there first cast deeper on the pile that i catch a keeper i did ten and a half look at there first cast deeper on it sometimes you just gotta dissect these things let's go see if we can catch another one First cast deeper on it, baby. Let's see if we can repeat it. I want to bring this minnow right on the side of that brush top. I don't want to be on top of it. I want to be deeper on the sides, like I said. That was the first cast doing that. Okay, guys, so I went a foot deeper and got a couple of crappie. Now I'm going to go a foot, another foot deeper and see what happens. I may just have to work my way down that brush pile a foot at a time, pulling off one or two at each depth, basically. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to work, but it has worked in the past. If these crappie are just kind of scattered out on the brush top, then this that might be the best approach, is just to see what happens going a foot deeper maybe catch a few and then go a foot deeper catch a few oh there he is baby ha <laughs> ha foot deeper and it's a good one dang gum oh man how did i get him in the bottom lip look at that guys Look at that. Not a giant, but I mean, still a good crappie. Let's go. That's a solid 12 incher. When I do go deeper on the pile, guys, I make sure to even cast a little bit further out. See, look, you gotta think about it. This buoy marker right here, pretty much the top, the highest point of that brush pile is right around that buoy marker. So the deeper I go on the brush top, the further out I wanna go from it so I'm fishing deeper on the sides of that pile. All right, guys, I haven't caught another fish since I caught that one. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go a foot deeper. Foot deeper. See if I can pick one off. I started at about 10 and a half feet. Now I'm probably at about 13, 13 and a half. Oh guys i didn't even reel i didn't even pop that minnow soon as i went down look at that fish 
guys i didn't even that's probably the biggest of the day i didn't even move that minnow i was talking to you guys and wasn't moving it boom look at that do not have to measure that one look at the mouth on that fish god oh, that's insane i didn't even move it dang let's go Now, if that works again, that's going to be insane. I'm going to throw it to the back of this pile now. I got bit way back there. There he is. Oh my gosh. I may have found the bigger fish, and I did. I found the bigger ones. Solid fish right there. Solid. All it guys. Wow. Man. Well, there's two at that at that depth, about 13 and a half or so. So maybe there's more. Let's go find out. That is insane. Now it's taking a little while for that minnow to get down there. Fishing a little deeper. I'm interested if there's another one. Two at that depth. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's a good one. Okay. Good gosh. Oh, another good one. Hey, guys, that's three in a row. That's three in a row right there, guys. Wow. And guess what? I still got that minnow. He kind of beat up, but that's three in a row. Dang. We putting together a little bag in here now. I'll tell you what, for late August, putting together a bag, baby. Now, if there's another one, may have found us a good little cluster of fish, maybe. We're going to find out. That's three fish in a row at that depth. Oh, there's another one. Oh, man. Not a, not a giant, but hey, quality fish, man. 11 and a half or so. No need to measure that fish, guys. See, this is one of those that, that I would not measure because I'll I'll show you. Been looking at so many crappie for so long. And that is a that's an 11 inch crappie right there. Will you stop? 11 incher. So, you know, I was, you know, I'd be able to tell just looking at that crappie. No need to measure it. Uh-oh, guys, I think I <laughs> I think I didn't found something here. That's four fish, maybe five actually, at that depth. Is that a fish? It is. Look at that, guys. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, guys, this may be a hoss. And it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh lordy. Guys, that's a stud. You could tell not as thick as it should be. Look at that hook just fell right out. Oh guys, man. Oh man. This one right here that we just pulled out is just shy of 15 inches. That sucker's just shy of 15. Look at the mouth. Big old crappie. All right, guys. Well, done found a little something, something. I'm going to keep pulling them out and see, see what's going on. Y'all stay tuned. I'll tell you what. Seems to be a lot of fish over here. I mean, I, I caught about six. Just boom, boom, boom. Let's see if there's another one. Now, I'm trying... I'm really trying to see just how far I can go out or away from the buoy marker, I should say. These crappie could just be suspended on the side of the pile. Don't want to get too close to that marker because I... Oh, look at there. Uh-oh, we got another keeper. It's got to be. Oh, gosh. Ooh, look at that black. Oh, my gosh. Look at that black crappie, guys. 
man no measurement needed on this fish right here i'll tell you what that is a good solid fish wow well guys i don't know how many is in the cooler if i had to guess uh i'd probably say 15 maybe maybe 15 i don't know if there's enough to catch a limit down there but i don't know they're biting pretty solid right now we're gonna keep at them while they're biting these crappie are just deep deeper on the pile i mean like i said the brush top's still in 16 16 and a half feet of water but they're suspended about 13 to 14 feet deep so they are lower in the water column for certain now i have caught a few fish today 10 and a half 11 foot deep but look at there look at there are you serious oh my gosh another stud black crappie wow guys i'm still got that minnow that's another keeper fish look at that guys 11 11 inch crappie holy smokes guys i think i found the magic depth here i found it that's about eight fish in that one depth. When I wasn't catching fish, I caught a few fish at first, but when I found this depth, it's game over. The thing is with these summer crappie, they could just stop biting it any second. See guys, there's, there's the buoy marker right there. I've been catching my fish over here deep on the side of the pile, deep on the side. There he is. Mm. See guys, you see, oh, that's a stud, I think. It is a stud, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is a tank. It's a tank. Just got off the phone with Walker. I know y'all know who Walker is. I'm about to take a picture of this and send it to him. I'll be right back. All right guys, I sent that picture to Walker. Boom, baby, no measurement needed. That is a solid, solid fish three more i catch three more and we're gonna count can't believe i'm doing i'm saying that at the end of august but got to make sure we don't go over all right guys it's been about three or four casts since i've gotten a bite so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna if i don't get bit in the next one or two casts then i'm gonna go a foot deeper well i guess i spoke too soon there's another one <laughs> nice solid keeper fish not a big one but it's a solid keeper nice not a giant but it is a keeper this one's gonna be almost 11. let's go baby i'm telling you deeper on the side see i could have just came over here to this pile fished the top of it shallow and didn't get bit maybe caught one or two fish and then moved on but instead you know you got to dissect these things these brush tops all right family i tell you what i just cannot seem to get that 25th fish in the boat so you know what i'm going to go ahead and call it there's no reason in being out here for another hour or two chasing one fish i have 24 crappie i'm going to make my way back to the boat ramp i'm going to lay this haul out for you guys and let you see them I hope I've proven to you in this video that crappie do not go as deep in the summer as a lot of people think they do. But I appreciate y'all watching so far. If you haven't, smash that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. We catch crappie year-round here on the 903 Fishing Channel, and I can teach you how to catch these crappie year-round as well. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. I'll see y'all back at the boat ramp. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on, family? Back at the boat ramp, and it has gotten hot. Now, I tell you what. I meant to mention this to you guys before I left, but when I was leaving my last spot, the surface temperature was 92.3. 92.3, that is the surface temperature at about, it's about noon right now, late August. But guess what, guys? Check out these fish real quick. Let me turn this camera around so y'all can see. Look at this. Look at these crappie. 24 of these crappie, guys. 24 crappie one away from a one man limit now hopefully after watching this video you guys believe that you don't have to go 25 30 
35 feet of water in the summertime to catch these crappie. All the brush tops that I fished today were in 15 to 18 feet of water. And these crappie honestly are sitting anywhere from 10 to 14 foot deep in that 15 to 18 foot range. And of course guys, eight foot ACC crappie sticks like I've already mentioned. Be sure to go to acccrappiesticks.com, get you one of the ultimate crappie fishing rods. Whether you're vertical jigging, live scoping, slip corking, casting, trolling, it really don't matter. ACC has a crappie rod to fit your needs. And don't forget about PCFun.com. This is the Viper X1000. It's going to match your ACC crappie sticks really well. Be sure to use code 903FISH15 to save you 15% off your order over at PCFun.com. Like I said, guys, don't be afraid to get out there and get these summer crappie. Now, what I like to do is, as most of y'all know, I like to get out here right at daylight and i'll fish till 11 12 o'clock noon that's about the latest i will be out here because after that it is unhealthy let me check the uh temperature right quick for you guys right now it is 95 degrees and feels like 102 the high today is 105 so it's definitely going to probably get up there feeling like 110 to 112 and it's just unhealthy to be out here so if you want to catch these crappie and beat the heat that is what I highly recommend. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, smash that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. YouTube loves when you like and comment, so don't be afraid to leave me a comment down in the comment section. I'll reply back to every single comment in my comment section. Might take me a day or two to get there, but I will reply back to it. I'll tell you what, guys. You know what I'm ready for? I'm ready for these creek crappie. Now, I know I'm speaking a little bit too early. We got a couple of months before these crappie make their way into the creeks and that is what i am i'm just waiting to get on the bank of the creek or, or in the kayak and catch me some creek crappie that's what i'm waiting for and if you do like creek crappie fishing that is what this channel is going to be about come come late october into november december january we're going to be catching creek crappie from the bank and from the kayak so if you like you some creek crappie, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're already not subscribed, we catch crappie year round here on the 903 Fishing Channel. Hit that subscribe button. I can teach you how to catch these crappie year round. And if you are a part of the 903 Fishing Family, thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. Means the world to me. Thank y'all so much. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.